Hi, Vincent Aiello with Barco Inc. Today we're here to talk to you about the PDS 4K with the audio option card. More specifically, we're going to talk about the audio option card more than the actual functionality of the PDS 4K. There are a bunch of awesome videos on the Barco Folsom IP YouTube page that describe the functionality and use cases for the PDS 4K, so we urge you to go and check those out. But again, today is going to be focused more on the audio option card. All right, so before we get started, uh, we want to cover some very basic terminology that is specific to Dante uh, audio networks as well as kind of our terminology uh, that we use in the PDS 4K. So the first definition that we want to define is transmitter disembeds audio to the Dante network. The next definition is receiver. Receiver embeds audio from the Dante network onto the program outputs. And finally, subscribe. Subscribe, use the Dante controller application to assign transmitters to receivers or vice versa. Okay, so now that we have covered the basic terminology, let's talk about a question that we receive regularly here at Barco, and that is, do I actually need the audio option card? And the answer to that, just like every other piece of Event Master hardware, is it depends. It depends what your use case for the box is. It depends on how you're going to use the PDS 4K and whatnot. So let's talk about what the audio option card brings as far as functionality. It gives us two DP 1.2 inputs. It allows us to route audio from an input to an output and gives us Dante audio network functionality. Speaking of network, we recommend that you utilize two different networks, one for the Dante audio network and one for the control network that you would use to control the PDS 4K. So as you can see here, we have one gigabit network switch to, for the Dante audio network and then one gigabit network switch for control. And what you don't see here is Scott is actually off screen and he's able to control the PDS 4K over the network. Now again, we can cover 95% of the functionality of the PDS 4K from the front panel, but it's always good to have a network for control. Okay, so let's talk about the four audio modes we can assign per destination. So we have follow video, we have input, also known as follow input, we have Dante, and we have mute. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you exactly what each one of those do and how they interact with each other and give you like a live demonstration of that. So uh, let's show you how to assign those modes before we actually get into the demonstration. So to assign those modes per destination, what we would do is we would come up to the adjust knob, we would go down to AV settings, we would go to output, follow all the way down to audio, and then here's where we can choose our audio mode. We can follow video, Dante, input, and mute. But again, follow video is the default. And that's actually the first one we're gonna show you. So I'm gonna escape out of that, and I'm gonna show you what follow video does. By default, there's no audio associated with the logo, which is fine, that's great. So we're on logo now, so you don't hear any audio. But if we chose a preset, by the way, our front panel's in preset mode, not in AB switch. If we chose a preset like preset number one, which is a full screen video, as I hit the take, you can hear the audio come in. Right, so full screen with audio, expected behavior. That's kind of what you would expect from uh, the PDS 4K or a box like this. If it goes on screen, audio follows. So, Let's go back to the logo, and I want to show you something real quick here. If we go back to the logo, so as you can see, there's no audio associated with that logo. By default, there's nothing assigned, so you won't hear anything. But let's go to a very special mode here, like preset 11, where it allows us to take a look at a couple of pips. 
up to you how you want to use it. That's awesome. So right. here we have two okay, pips so on screen the, with a background. The, uh, PDS and as you can hear, the, the audio is, is following the topmost well, so layer. And that is and on purpose. Yeah, what we've done is we've chosen the topmost layer to observe to follow the audio. So you awesome, can hear that. Awesome. Now, if you Flight wanted to hear the audio coming from the lower layer, what you would actually have to do is bring that to the yeah, no, upper great. layer and potentially it shift it over uh, or change the input to now, the input of this layer to that PDS layer or source of that input to that layer. For, for Live All right. what does it do so that's what like, follow video do does. Do and, do and as you'll so see, as I, as I switch back to the logo, the audio will fade away. The next mode we're going to discuss is input, also known as follow input, because really that's what the PDS 4K will do. It will follow whichever input, the audio will follow whichever input we assign. So again, in order to adjust or change the actual input, we're going to select in, we'll go to AV settings, we'll go to output, and right here we want to pause, take note that we're actually going to affect program one. We could potentially affect program two, three, or four, depending on which mode we have the PDS 4K set to, but we don't want to. We just want to affect program one. So we're going to scroll down to the audio. We're going to click into it. And by default, we're at follow video. We're going to select input. And as soon as I click this, you'll hear the audio come in. Now, down below that mode selection, there is a selection that says Map Input Connector, and that's where we actually select the input connector in which we'd like the output to observe for the audio. So, let's go ahead and change that real quick. Let's change this from HDMI input to TAC2, which was the default, or sorry, not the default, but the one we had previously chosen. And let's change it back to input HDMI input 1 TAC1, and then we'll hit Select. Now, as I change this, you'll hear the audio change over to what's being brought in on HDMI 1 TAC 1. So as you can see, there's audio over the logo by default with the preset we had up before. And then as we change through presets, the audio will remain the same no matter which preset I choose, which again includes the logo. The next audio mode I'll demo is Dante. Before we can hear audio from the Dante network on the program outputs, we'll have to use the Dante controller software to subscribe some transmitters to the PDS-4K's program receivers. Once the subscription is complete, all we have to do is change the audio mode to follow Dante. Just like follow input, no matter what's on screen, we'll always hear that Dante subscription. Finally, we have mute. Now what mute does is it allows us to mute all of our program outputs as well as all of our program output transmitters on the Dante network while not affecting our input transmitters on the Dante network. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so that about wraps up our quick demo of the audio option card on the PDS-4K. Remember, if you have any questions about feature sets or anything coming out in the future, head over to our Barco Folsom IP channel on YouTube. There's a bunch of different videos on the PDS-4K as well as other Event Master products. And remember, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at e2 at barco.com. And I'm Vincent Aiella. Thanks. Take care.